Hello! So today I've got my hands on this Havit mechanical keyboard. One of my friends' company imports them and sells it over here in South Africa. So I needed a keyboard for my home laptop. I actually went to go buy a mouse pad, which I'll do a review on as well. I'll put up a picture of it on the website. And he showed me this keyboard. Typical salesman, eh? So, let's unbox this baby and see what we get. Oh, geez. So, you can see it's called the Havit or Havit, or I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Game Note RGB Backlit Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. And it says on the back of the box. Interface type is USB and the dimensions key life 50 million times operating voltage cable length 1.8 meters which is quite nice so this is what the box looks like you can see I'm a bit cramped on this table so that's what that box looks like I'm quite keen to test this little guy I don't know if I need to get some scissors I've actually heard some good things about this keyboard. One of our other friends bought two of them, one for his wife and for someone else, and they actually like it quite a lot. To give you an example, I don't know if I can give you pricing because he obviously gives me a better price, but this is a mechanical keyboard for quite a bit under a thousand rand. So here we go. So this is the silver one. The one I looked at today was black. This is what's in the box. I'm not too sure what this is. Like a little grommet. Oh, okay, wait. It's uh, I think it's a key puller. Key pulling tool by the look of things, yeah. Can look there. Key tool that's quite cool my logitech didn't even come with one got a logitech 710 plus mechanical keyboard get a little user's manual service mail card thing don't even know if anyone still uses them let's take this baby out he did not have stock of the black one. He did say I would like the silver. And it is actually not too bad. I have to be honest, I do prefer the look of the black. So this part black on the other model. This one's silver as you can see on the back plate. So yeah, that's what the keys sound like. Very responsive. My understanding is they do not come with your Cherry MX keys. Not sure what keys he did say, but I didn't have a lot of time, I didn't really listen. And it's got a very nice weight, weight to it. I like that. It feels solid. It actually feels very solid. This is what the back looks like, little feet, little rubber there. Wow, okay, oh this is Actually, my Logitech feels a lot flimsier there. Nice, I like that. So, yeah, this is the unboxing of the Game Note Covered Habit. What? Game Note Habit RGB Backlit Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. It's officially what it's called. So, these little functions that you can do here, which you showed me in the showroom to change your lights and the you know color and way the lights would run over the keyboard. If you press a key, one of the modes it will like splash the lights and all that but I'll make another video on that. After I've worked with it for a bit I'll do a proper review. So this is the unboxing video for this keyboard. Honestly 
I would have preferred the black one. They did not have stock. This is not too bad, but I do think the black does look better than the silver. But for the price I paid for it, really, all I've seen so far is actually quite amazing compared to other mechanical keyboards and the price ranges they are. And I don't, you know, so I'll go through the functions and all that stuff after I've worked with it for a bit. Great, that's it. I'll post a video soon and do a cool, well, cool, nice big review on it. And I'll compare it to my Logitech just to have something to compare it to. Great stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.